So what happens here is then the driver will come up and if this was on a main road, what the driver is now doing is called fending off and what that basically means is we're blocking the road off the other road users so when we're dealing with this incident we don't want any other cars coming along and hitting the accident and making things worse or worse hitting our crews. So the fire engine if you want to use as a barrier to protect the crews so that they can get to work. You can see the OIC, that's the guy with a stripe on his helmet, he's walking around the car and what he's doing is kind of like a survey. What he will then do is he will formulate a plan on his head and then he will get his crews to carry out his plan. His plan will be the safest and most efficient way to get the casualty out of the car. What the guys are now doing is what we call setting up an equipment dump. And what they're doing is they're getting the equipment off the appliance that they feel they need to deal with this car accident. So you can see they've got a generator out, they've got various screws, and you can see the big green bikes, that's an oxygen therapy, and then that's another, that there is an F-Post bike, that's a first person on scene, it's basically a big first aid kit with various pieces of medical equipment on it. What they're doing now is they're stabilizing the car and basically that means is what the car will not move. You can replace up and down the suspension of the move it keeps the car very stable. And since we have back or neck injuries, the last thing we want is to aggravate those injuries by the car moving around. So what we do is stabilize the car and that stops the movement. Then what happens is a firefighter, if the paramedics aren't with him, sometimes we turn up with the first day arrive. Firefighter will get into the back of the car and what we'll do is stabilize the neck of the casualty and make sure that the airway's open and that they're breathing. Okay, so that's a priority for us to make sure that the casualty's breathing and to stabilize them. You can see the other guys on the right hand side. My right hand side is connecting up the crews. They're getting it ready to operate the generator. And what that generator can do with the crews and packs, it can spread, it can cut. And it can basically just open up this car, and that's what we're going to do here. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You can see with the NRPC, we were the same here, what we were showing you earlier when we were doing the chip technology demonstration. So, again, that fire pit that we were provides us with protection. You see, you've got the tunics, the leggings, the helmets, and the gloves, so that provides us with protection from all the nasty things that are in the cars. You can see coming out of the lorry as well, there's a black hose. And we pull that out there as well. That's just in case there was to be a fire, so the hose is ready to be grabbed. So, yeah. See, and now what they're doing as well is they're managing the glass. So they're going to break the glass, and there's the glass that's been broken. What we try to do is we try to break the glass under control. So you can see there's a put in between the casualty and where they're breaking the glass. So we remove all the glass from the side of the car wherever we're working. And that means then when we're spreading and falling later on that the glass doesn't break on the tool and go all over the casualty. So we try to remove the glass first. So you can see now that the glass has been removed and we're getting rid of it. The generator now just started up. Right, so this car here, the door was open, that's our back door. Sometimes we can go with that back door, that's the 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 back door,
So you can see now that somebody, when we're doing this here, as you can see there's somebody stabilizing the head of the cavity. That's very, very important that we do that there. We do that with the whole incident until they are put on the board. Sometimes what will happen is uh, the parent will take well the they will so have to do that all the time. And there you go, folks. That's how we remove the roof of the car. That's how we get a cavity down. A big thank you to the crew for doing that for us. It's very important folks, don't be speaking, don't be doing anything.